A SAN DIEGO FUGITIVE HAS BEEN PLACED ON THE FBI'S MOST WANTED LIST. HIS NAME IS MICHAEL PRATT. AND THE FBI SAYS HE IS WANTING FOR RECRUITING YOUNG WOMEN AND GIRLS TO SHOOT VIDEOS MOSTLY HERE IN SAN DIEGO UNDER FALSE PRETENSES AND THEN SHARING THOSE VIDEOS ONLINE. OUR CLARA BENITEZ IS LIVE DOWNTOWN WITH THE NEW DEVELOPMENTS AND THE REWARD BEING OFFERED. CLARA. Well, Kathleen, the FBI is now offering $100,000 for any information that can lead to Pratt's arrest. They did mention today in the press conference that he can be anywhere in the world, and they know someone is helping him. Michael James Pratt has now been added to the FBI's top 10 most wanted fugitive list. Pratt is alleged to have been the owner of adult websites, Girls Do Porn and Girls Do Toys. He's been charged in the Southern District of California with sex trafficking crimes in connection with the scheme to deceive and coerce young women to appear in sex videos on those websites. Special agent in charge Stacy Moy says Pratt recruited hundreds of young women and girls from all over the country and Canada between the year 2012 and 2019. Often under the false promise of legitimate clothed modeling jobs. After he lured them in the door, Pratt forced or coerce them into participating in pornographic videos. Agent Moy says Pratt would promise anonymity and convince the videos would never be posted on the internet, which would later be found to be a lie. Pratt operated these sites as a front to force the victims into commercial sex acts, which generated more than $17 million in revenue. For Pratt and his cohorts. Pratt has the financial means to be anywhere in the world and has ties to New Zealand and Australia, which is why Moy says he is now on the top 10 wanted list. The top 10 list is an important tool within the FBI. It has been successful in the past and we are hoping it will be successful again in this case. Someone, somewhere, knows exactly where he is. The pornographic website is no longer running, but officials say these videos still exist and hundreds of victims are still out there. Most of the videos shot in San Diego in hotels and rentals. Although the women were promised that the video shoots would be brief, they actually took hours. Once the video productions began, some women were not permitted to leave the shooting locations until the videos were completed. Now the FBI is committed to bringing Pratt back to San Diego. To face charges and to seek justice for the victims of his crimes. Now, Agent Moy believes that there are still several hundred victims and is encouraging them to come forward to the FBI. Also, if you do have any information on Pratt's whereabouts, you are asked to call the FBI at 1-800-CALL-FBI. Again, that reward to $100,000. Reporting live from downtown, Clara Benitez, Fox 5 News. All right, Clara, such a disturbing case.